Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, we'll be going over how to create this unique and clean jewelry glow effect. It looks so clean. Actually, it was done in New Autumn's video, What's the Point? So I'll try to recreate it and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, you can see I have this clip right here pulled up. So firstly, to start off, all we gotta do is duplicate our clip and check our Rotobrush tool. And first of all, we're going to rotoscope out our character jewelry, our artist jewelry, whatever it is for you. You just got to like rotoscope them out. If you don't know how to rotoscope, you can learn it quickly on YouTube. There's a bunch of tutorial I will not be going over on this for now. So let me do this and see you guys. Then after your rotoscope is done, if I hide my background layer, you can see our jewelry is selected out. That's exactly what we want. So now we're going to start adding the glow. For the glow, we'll actually be using Optical Glow. If you don't already know, it's a plugin from VFX Suite, which is absolutely beautiful at making those clean glows. So I'm going to use that. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can just use like the normal glow and you can just like play with the radius and intensity. You can copy this, play with the radius and intensity you can make like three duplications different size and different intensity to get a similar look i'll link a video down in the description for more details but for now we're just gonna use our optical glow so let's just add optical glow right here now firstly we're gonna go over to highlights only and bring it up a little bit so it's only glowing on the highlights part or something like that then you can bring up your size as well and lower down the amount a little then if your background is black just go over to alpha channel and set it to extended almost and it should fix it and you will have this beautiful glow on your jewelry one more thing i like to do is go to outer tint and set it like a blue color so something like a blue yeah something like that so it's a bit like cold on the tone then with it i like to add another plugin which is from sapphire so i like to add like a sapphire glint on it and go to size details and lower down the size y to zero size diagonal to zero and diagonal two to zero as well so we have like a horizontal glint going on and then you can just play with the brightness and stuff always so hit the stop was in brightness and as our clip goes we're gonna like lower it down to zero so now you can see our glow looks really cool you can leave it right here if you like but we're gonna add more effects like they did so firstly in here i like to add like a lens flare overlay so for that i like to use this like overlay that i found on google i'll link it in the description if you want to download this exact one so i'm just gonna drag it onto my comb and you can see we have the lens flare but it's on the wrong color so we're gonna add like a sls color balance sls and slide it through until we have the color that we like so a blue tone right there then you can even set the blending mode to color dodge if you like and that right there you can see adds a lot of depth in it you can even hit the stopwatch in the opacity and lower it down a bit as it goes so it is not like consistent throughout then in the video i saw them doing like a vignette around so i'm gonna show you how to do that as well so just make an adjustment layer again another one and then you need to add like a simple vignette gc vignette in here you can bring up the amount a little bit then hit the stopwatch in angle of view and put the first keyframe around the end and you should make it like zero at the first and as the clip goes you can just lower it down as much as you can or something like that then you can even hit the stopwatch in center and you can take this like anchor point on it and just animate it to follow your jewelry so it's like finite is always like glowing it if that makes sense yeah that looks pretty smooth right there then as in the video i like to hit t on my background clip and bring up the opacity and hit the stopwatch in it and as it goes you can just lower it down to zero and copy those keyframes put it on your jewelry layer as well buffer it you can make it a little shorter then you can make the same keyframe on like those lens flares that we added then now to top it all off you can pre-comb it add a little zoom in it what i like to do is like reposition my anchor point and hit the stopwatch in the scale put the first keyframe around the end and like a simple zoom like this and finally in here you can make an adjustment layer and if you have my grunge fx you can use that to add some preset in it so you can go through and choose the best that you like but i like to add something like a puddle dark in it and you can just bring up the keyframes and from it i like to remove like the hot spot so it isn't dark and you can just place the keyframe on the beginning then after adding the preset you can see that looks so clean with like the puddle going on so if you want to download this pack it's totally crazy i'll link it in the description 
description. Comes with 60 plus assets for your music video, ranging from preset to overlay, so you can choose what works the best for you. So link will be in the description. But anyways, our final effect looks something like this. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And you can also follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, do all that good stuff. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.